Hello everybody, thank you for joining us for another edition of Tips and Tricks with Anglers Covey. My name is John Easton and this is Rachel Lineweber, the general manager here, and we're going to talk to you about something extremely important today. Yes, as you've noticed, it's starting to get a little bit colder and it's only going to continue getting colder and colder as winter progresses. And so we want to talk to you about how to prepare with your clothing by layering so that you can fish longer and harder. Absolutely. And a little known fact here is that everybody has kind of a different need when it comes to layering. Different materials, different weights of stuff. And there's, there's a complete difference between how I would layer and how Rachel would layer. So we're really going to kind of break that down too and hopefully that helps you. Big time. And some of the mistakes that people make with layering is A, assuming they already know it, they've got a bunch of hoodies, so they're set. Um, so you want to be sure not to wear too many layers, which we'll talk about, mm -hmm. and also choosing the right layers. And so John, you want to talk about yeah. what we do? Yeah, so there's you can basically break this down to a three-part system. You have your base layer, which is your most important layer, and that's the layer of clothing that's next to your skin. Um, then we're going to have a mid layer or an insulating layer and sometimes you can even add two mid layers like two light insulation pieces or a light and a heavy depending on the conditions. And then you're going to have your outer layer which is your technical outerwear. So this is going to be materials that are waterproof, uh, windproof and you know resistant to the, the elements that you're going to encounter. Definitely. So I'm going to run through some women's layers that I love that we have here at the shop and talk to you about why they are so good why we recommend them here um first uh, is a women's sims top so this is your base layer so this is going to be your wicking layer and this um if you'll notice has some perforation so it allows some sweat and air to circulate um and any base layer you want to make sure that it has zero cotton content a lot of us in the industry have heard the adage of cotton kills, cotton kills. and that is true so you want it to have zero cotton either be a wool or a wool blend or synthetic like polyester so um, this is a great layer it sits very close to your skin this isn't where we want it to like be loose and flowy we want this to be next to our skin to wick every ounce of moisture away from our body as possible to keep us a little bit warmer and then next for the women's mid layer i have two options because i couldn't decide um, and these are both brand new from sims this first one is got a grid fleece on the inside um, but it's got a sleek outer layer so that way you can layer on like, your outer layer on top of it your shell um, this one though i really believe it's called the heavyweight base layer hoodie you can also use it as your base layer it has some insulating properties here uh, but you can wear it next to your skin and it's got a really nice pretty slimming profile that just skims your body. It doesn't cling, but just skims. And really nice long sleeves with the thumb loop that we all love that makes it easier to put an extra layer on top. And then next, this is one I've had my eye on for months. Um, this is the women's river shed sweater. There's been a men's one out for a long time. This is our women's version. It's got this funnel or scuba neck here. Um, and then it's got a hand warming kangaroo pocket. And it also has thumb loops on a pretty sleek lower sleeve. This is because sometimes we'll dip our arms into the water a little bit to release a fish, to net a fish, and we don't want that moisture to travel up further. So it's got some nice fishing, like techie details here, but it is also extremely cute. And last, we have the tried and true. This is the Sims outer shell. So this one, Wading jackets used to be nice and short. This is long, so you can wear it for snowboarding. You can wear it around town, but on the river, once, um, say, it starts to snow, sleet, whatever, you just put your hood up, and it's gonna bounce all sorts of precipitation off of you and keep you warm. Um, and one of the best parts is it's got an inner sleeve here with a Velcro connection, so you can really get that nice and tight, so no water is gonna drip back up your sleeve if you do have to dip your hand in the water, or if it's pouring rain or snowing hard. So those are my favorite layers, which I will be wearing all of them this winter, camp and fall. Yes, you will. Well, you might even be wearing those in the summer. I do, I <laughs> Talk about different heat indexes. I'm yeah. always freezing. Yeah, yeah and that's, that's a perfect way to build a kit. I would, uh, I wear something very similar for a, a base layer, and I really like, as a guy, I think we tend to run a little warmer. I like to wear, you know, extremely technical stuff. And even if you don't have that, just 100% polyester is a really good first layer uh, or base layer that you could wear. Um, the ability to wick moisture, absolutely key. Um, I like some of this new Sims core first layer stuff that they have out. Again, this is rather light. 
um, but it is going to do the job and wick any moisture that, that you may encounter. And to be clear there, uh, even when it's really cold, you're going to sweat, especially in your feet. Um, and when you sweat, if the material can't get the sweat away from your skin, that's when you get cold. So to Rachel's point about having too much, very valid. So I like to really have very light first layer and then adjust my mid layers as, as the temperatures see fit. This is a great uh, first layer piece, wicks moisture great, really comfortable. And again, all your uh, base layer stuff is going to be very tight to your skin, so it's probably not, if you look like me, something you want to go <laughs> parade around town on. Um, and I love this, the, the, the core extreme top. Um, this is a really good mid layer. I use this kind of year round in the winter. Um, it's got the built in grid face mask and the hood, uh, and it fits very tight, so it's going to keep everything in. Um, and then something, you know. Very similar to the, Ra the jack that Rachel held up there, but very technical, um, extremely waterproof, windproof, and element proof. So um, that's kind of how I would layer. Mm -hmm. And then the most important part, I think, is... Socks? Yeah. Yes, I agree. And this is something that we joke about when we guide together all the time, because we'll be getting ready for trips. And I am always wearing something very thick and very fluffy because I run cold all the time. Even in July, if I'm in water that's 50 degrees, my feet are still cold. So in the winter, this is especially true. But again, we're not doing any cotton. Um, these are our farm to feet socks, 100% American made, USA materials. Every single part of the process to make these is American. Um, so these are 100% wool. I wear these fluffy ones. They go all the way up to my knees because I am always cold. Yeah. and. To Rachel's point, um, so you, you can have the same material in different weights. So this would be my preferred weight, and it's more of a mid weight or even a light weight. Um, and this is probably going to be a sock that I'm going to wear on the coldest day, um, because for me the most important thing is to get any moisture away from me. Um, for Rachel, she needs that little little bit of extra oomph there. Um, but again, the differences, and I always I always recommend to people you really want to play with this stuff. Um, play with the weight of stuff. It's worth investing and taking the time to dial in your exact layering system. Um, absolutely, because you know there's no such thing as bad weather, but there is such thing as wrong gear. So take the time to do it for sure. Yes, for sure. Um, I would say, and the last is just a couple extra pieces you can add if you feel like your core layers, so your core, your pants, everything like that is dialed. Um, it doesn't hurt to add a fleece gaiter. Um, a lot of us have a, you know, a hat on that's great and a really warm jacket, but then from here to here is freezing, especially as wind whips through. Um, so this is a Rep Your Water one, but a lot of different brands have them, but I like the Rep Your Water because they're cute and they're fun, but they also have a fleece lining. Um, tons of different designs in this too. You don't have to be as loud and out there as this one is. But. Absolutely. And the other one, we get asked this a lot in the fly shop, gloves. Um, so obviously you can wear gloves. I don't know about actually fishing and doing all that. Some gloves might be a little cumbersome, but a glove that I would like to wear when it's really cold out is something like the Sims Warming Hut glove. Um, this is something that I can just keep on my hands and stay warm, where obviously if I need to cast or change flies or something, I'm not going to do that with, with these gloves on. But they're meant to take on and off and just continually keep your hands warm. They come with a nifty little hand warmer pocket, pocket right in the wrist. So right along against your veins there, and it helps keep your hands warm. Um, yeah, and the other thing that I'll just throw a pitch into, you, you've probably seen it a lot, you've probably seen a lot of us doing it, is wearing black latex gloves. That's probably my number one game changer in terms of winter fishing or cold weather fishing. So you might want to invest in those. You could just wear those. That way when you touch a fish, your hand's not getting wet. Uh, you can still change flies. You can still do all that kind of stuff. But they're very cheap and, and very. disposable, and they, they work like a charm. Absolutely. And I thought you were full of garbage at first when you told me about yeah. that. I thought you were just jumping on the bandwagon. But they really they make a huge difference, and you can get a box of 100 for super cheap. Yep. Um, I think we're going to start having them here at the shop just so to make it easier for people to yep. get them because it, it's such a game changer. So. Thank you guys for learning about layering today. If you have any questions or you want to come in and try on any of this stuff, just come on into the shop and we would be happy to help you. Absolutely, yeah. If you take the time to really dial this in, you're going to have longer, longer days on the river and you can fish a lot harder. Awesome. Sure. Thanks, guys. Thank you.